Hello friends. Today I want to introduce you to history of microbiology. History of microbiology or emergence of microbiology as a discipline or establishment of microbiology as a subject. This was not developed in one day. The placement of microbiology in present day form is related to microorganisms and diseases caused by them which are as old as the human civilization itself. Many philosophers and scientists have contributed in this direction and we are grateful to them for the present status of microbiology. Perhaps the oldest documents regarding the diseases, microorganisms are the Vedas. In Vedas, Rig Ved, fungus was described first of all in the form of a him. Kada martam rat sampada chumba muse for the Kadana shushruvat gear indra anga. Life of a devil or a wicked man is like cap or pileus of a mushroom that can be easily blown away even by a light current of air. In Vedas, there is a term Marut which are invisible. Maruts have been described in the Vedas. The present day microorganisms that are invisible that we cannot see with the naked eye. And there is a term creamy that has also been described in the Vedas, particularly in the Athar Ved. We have many scholars in India and Acharya Susrut is one of them who may be regarded as the father of surgery. His famous monumental work is Sushrut Samhita. Acharya Sushrut had used ant heads as ligature to stick the surgical cuts because this is the organic material, keratin. Ant heads are made of keratin. Bible is in another scripture that provides information regarding microorganisms. Bible describes leprosy and has advised reference has been made that leper should be kept apart in the isolation and waste should be buried not left open. And another philosopher who is known for his great contribution in life sciences in general and microbiological information also, Theophrastus, who has disguised diseases. Vero Columella has suggested that there are Animalia minuta, which cause disease. Animalia minuta cause disease where either they are ingested or they are inhaled. Kircher in 1659 
claimed minute worms in the blood. So these minute worms, Kircher, speaks, but at the time equipments were not there to precisely identify these worms. Rather what he had observed were the blood cells and not the worms. Bulbonic plague has been caused in the Mediterranean region 520 AD. and caused millions and millions of people's death. Plague invaded in Europe and so many people died. Streets were empty in, in cities like London. Priests in churches of Europe claimed some miracles. They call it bread breaking that brought blood rushed out in the bread breaking. But the truth was that this was because of the Siretia Marsessens. Siretia Marsessens is a red colored bacterium. The growth of the Siretia marsessens prepares a red colored liquid that oozes out when the bread is broken. You are aware of the powerful ruler Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon Bonaparte attacked Russia with a big army of 10,000 soldiers and he advanced. He advanced and Russian army retreated. Napoleon army went on advancing and Russian army went on retreating. Winter came and as a result of winter, the army of Napoleon was facing shortage of food, shortage of food and typhus fever. Typhus fever is caused by the Kersia. It's surprising that only 20% of the army of Napoleon survived from typhus fever caused by the Kersia and 80% died. So Russians without firing a single bullet they won and they had to, Napoleon had to get back. It has not harmed the, Rikertsia had not only harmed the Napoleon army, it killed the scientist who was working on it. An organism was named after Dr. Rickett, who was fondling monkeys, monkeys harbor the lice. And this is the intercellular parasite of the lice and Rick, Dr. Rickett became the victim of Rickettsia and later on scientists named it Rickettsia in the honor of Dr. Rickett. Of course, there was more discovery, indirect discovery of the attack of the Napoleon as they had faced the shortage of food a prize was declared that one who will discover the, the 
method of canning preservation of food will be awarded and later on Nichols apart devised the method which is known today is known as the appetization not only animals and plants even vegetables have been affected Great potato famine of 1835. This potato famine was caused in Europe. Irish people, because of potato famine, migrated to United States of America. Today we know this disease of potato is caused by a fungus, Phytophthora infestans. so fight of thora infestants damage the potato crops which is a staple food of the people of ireland and the european countries not only in europe in india also bengal famine is well known and this bengal famine was the disease of rice rice is the staple food of people of bengal and the disease is caused by bacterium genthomonas origi so it has harmed and created bengal famine also in india we have so many great scholars who has contributed in the field of medical sciences and surpal is one of such authorities who is the author of his noted monumental work vriksh ayurved so many diseases caused by microorganisms have been described in the vriksh ayurved also plague had created havoc in rome it was a practice to go for the annual offerings annual prayers to provide protection and rubigelia that was called those annual prayers were called rubigelia rubigelia was to appease the god urubigo and it was believed that urubigo is the agency rubigo is the authority that brings the rust today we know many types of rust of wheat and rust of some other plants also other crops also yellow rust of wheat stipe rust of wheat brown rust of wheat black rust of wheat so these were caused by this fungus and fun that is the fungus species of fungi are responsible for congestion of rust and this was performed to safety against was kept as the rubigelia but today we know that because fungi fungicides or biopesticides had not come into existence at that time thank you friends my next lecture would be on pillars of microbiology that have enabled us to reach to the present status of microbiology thank you